It's Wednesday, March 18th. Let's take a look at the weather. The storm is still on track, folks, as we take a look at all the models that have come in overnight. We have seen a lot of consistency in most of the computer modeling. There's still some computer models out there that are having problems with this storm, but the models we trust the most have been extremely consistent in showing us a developing storm tonight and Thursday across northeastern Colorado. So confidence remains high. We're going to see this as being a relatively small storm in geographical scales. It's just not going to cover as much ground as we have seen other March storms do. But where it does impact, there'll be high impacts. And there's going to be a big gradient in terms of who gets snow and who doesn't. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So depending on where you're watching this podcast, you could be under a major winter storm and a blizzard or really not have much at all going on. We'll show you that. Blizzard conditions are likely Thursday through Thursday night, especially southeastern Wyoming, northern Colorado, and western Nebraska. And this is going to lead to dangerous travel and livestock conditions. Travel is going to be very difficult Thursday through Friday morning in many areas of Wyoming and parts of Colorado and Nebraska as well. This is the updated forecast of precipitation totals. This is what we would call liquid if you were to measure this as it fell as rain. And you can see the blue and the yellow here in the orange colored areas. Anywhere you see yellow, you're looking at over an inch of liquid water. Anything that is blue or darker is a half inch to three quarters of an inch. So this is the area here that is gonna have the heaviest precipitation in the maps if you've been watching this week, have been very consistent at showing the heaviest precipitation along this east-west axis across southeastern Wyoming into western Nebraska. But we've also seen a real increase here in the available moisture for northeastern areas of Colorado, including Colorado's northern front range. But notice the big gradient. You go to almost nothing as you get north of Casper, you almost have nothing south of I-70. So it's a rather narrow area of where the heavier precipitation is going to fall. Now, as you get on the western slope, there's going to be good precipitation west of the divide as moisture comes up out of Arizona with this storm and brings snow to the mountains of Colorado, Utah, and those areas there. But this is the area right here where we're having the most concern in terms of really poor winter conditions and travel conditions and livestock conditions. And this up here is going to become a major snow event overnight Thursday into the day on Friday for central and northeastern areas of Nebraska. Now let's convert that to snow. And this is what we see using a 10 to 1 ratio. Now this may be a situation where these amounts that you see here may be somewhat underdone in some areas, but you can see that there is that swath of snow that goes right underneath that band of precipitation we showed you. With the higher elevations, you're really noticing that the higher elevations show the pink. These are the areas that are above seven, 8,000 feet and higher. But also notice significant snows along that Colorado Front Range and the I-25 corridor and I-80 corridor of Wyoming. But notice, central and northern Wyoming, southern Montana, you basically miss. You basically miss down here as well. Let's focus in a little bit on that same map I showed you so you can see the snowfall totals a little bit better. Again, these are 10 to 1 ratios. We may see some of these amounts higher. One area in particular, northern Laramie County, southern Goshen County, southern Platte County, there's some higher ground here, higher terrain, where the northeast upslope winds may enhance the snowfall amounts. I would not be surprised if this area right here, there are many areas that exceed a foot of snow, exceeding a foot of snow in the Laramie Range. Between Laramie and Cheyenne is a good bet. The Snowy Range, the mountains of northern Colorado really showing a lot of snowfall as well with this storm system. The wind is a problem. This is why we have a blizzard warning in effect. These are forecasted wind gusts by noon tomorrow. So by noon tomorrow, we've got winds gusting 30 to over 40 miles an hour. And this, combined with all that snow I just showed you, is going to cause a lot of blowing and drifting, zero visibilities at times, and those blizzard conditions. Also, there's going to be some strong winds here along Interstate 80. And while the snow here is not going to be as heavy, the wind will cause a lot of blowing snow and a lot of difficult travel conditions. Let's take a look briefly at the next storm system of interest. 
Notice uh, this is a forecast map for next Wednesday. Notice we've got a low here, we've got a low here, we've got a little low here, we got a little low here. While none of these look terribly big, we've got a lot of weather coming in off the Pacific and wanting to move through the Western United States. So we're gonna see more action with the weather in the next seven to 10 days. But first things first is focusing in on this storm here in the short term. Thanks for listening and watching the Day Weather Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow morning and we'll see how the storm is evolving. Thanks for watching and listening.